In just 12 days, Santa Claus will make his journey across the globe to visit millions of children before they wake up on Christmas morning. But in Franklin, Old St. Nick is making an early stop with the hopes of creating a family heirloom. News Channel 5's Jonquil Newland has more on this story. Shannon, many families have portraits of their young children sitting on Santa's lap, but getting that one shot is harder than you may think. So sometimes Santa does things a bit differently. Tis the season for gifts, giving, and family. On the streets of downtown Franklin, holiday melodies accompany the bustle of the annual Christmas festival. But just a few doors down at Jenny Kruger's photography studio. All right, can I see your prettiest smile? You a mommy. Some children are singing a different tune, one not so pleasant to the ears. In the lobby, a crowd of infants, toddlers, and small children wait for their time with Santa. All right, are you guys ready to see Santa? Whether they like it or not. Hi. When squeaky toys don't distract them from the seemingly terrifying elf, there is a different approach. We're gonna do a sneak up. While the kids strike a pose for the camera, St. Nick sneaks up behind them. So at least we get one happy shot. It may not be your typical portrait, but special nonetheless. It's kind of magical. <laughs> this is the second year Jenny and Santa have teamed up for holiday portraits. And with this crowd, there is a lot of criers. From the age of 10 or 11 months to about three years, it's about half which means the appointments tend to stay on the shorter side. Jenny and I agree it's, it's emotionally, it's, it's hard to do it. We, we can only do about three hours, two and a half hours of this and we're done. But that's all the time they need to make a memorable moment last a lifetime. Most of the time you're just, you know, you're bringing good cheer to people, you're, you're making them happy. Well, Santa says he began dressing up a few years ago. He says it all started as a Halloween costume and took off from there. Now in his other life, he's a stay at home dad.